This interactive uh, polygon demo can be found at www.viznos.com. In this video, I'm going to talk about the polygon, what you can do with it, what the various controls do. In all of the demos, you'll find when you mouse over a control, you move the cursor over a particular control, you'll find in this top area, it tells you what it does. So in this case, we're getting told, click to toggle the display of the protractor. So I'm going to do that. So now we have a protracted, which can be dragged around the screen and can be used to measure various angles. So we can see this one here is 60 degrees because it's an equilateral triangle. So let's hide the protractor. Next one, click to toggle the display of the ruler. So here we have a ruler, similar kind of idea. You can move it around, you can rotate it. Let's hide it. Draggable. You'll notice when I've clicked that, these um, handles have disappeared. Now you might want to do this if you've got the protractor on display, because if you have both the handles and the protractor, sometimes they can get mixed up and you're not sure which one you're actually dragging. Next one is snap. Snap is when you have drag, um, draggable points. This actually changes how they actually uh, work. So if I set it to zero, you can move anywhere on the grid. If I set it to 1, then you'll find we snap to the nearest square. The next controls I'm going to talk about are these three sliders. So what we have here is sides, radius and angle. So you've got to be careful when you use these controls because when you move them, they destroy any kind of previous shape you've got. So I'm going to move the sides to 4, we have a square, 5, pentagon, 6, hexagon, 7 heptagon, 8 octagon, and so on. The radius changes the actual size. What does the radius mean in terms of a polygon? I'll just show you quickly by showing you the circle. So this is a background circle, and you can see that's the radius. So all the points here on the regular polygon fit on the actual circumference of the circle. The angle means you can actually rotate the regular polygon here. You might have noticed uh, one of the points is always yellow. This is the last clicked one. So if I want to add a side, it's in relation to this point here. It's always clockwise from the previous point. So if I want to add a side here, I click this point and add. In a similar way, we can remove points and it always removes the selected point. Remove that point, there you go. Finally, this key here, uh, button I should say. When I click it, it randomizes a polygon. Let's start with a regular one. So this is a good way to just um, alter the angles subtly so you no longer have a regular polygon. The next control is the terminal. This actually allows you to enter some code, computer code, which is written in JavaScript, and you can actually change what happens to the polygon. I'm going to devote a whole video to this control because it's quite complicated. Um, I'll change that back. Okay, so moving on. We now get to the angle section. This is the exterior angle. So we can see in this particular case when you have a heptagon, the exterior angle is 51.4. A hexagon, 60 degrees. You can show the actual arc by moving this control here. Okay, and you can also show the exterior anti-clockwise. And this angle here, um, I've called it the outer. This is um, the opposite of the interior angle. So if the interior angle here is uh, 120, this is 240. So let's move to the interior angle. This is just a straight on-off. So again, I show the arc like so. And when I change the points, the angles adjust to show the new calculation. So finally, we get down to the colors. So I've made a little change here to the polygon in question. So we can change the arc color, which is for the outer arc. 
It's a bit confusing now because it's concave, so some of these appear to be inside. But as you can see, they are outer arcs. So we can change the interior, like so. Then we can change the stroke, which is the outside color, the line color of the polygon. So I'm gonna change that to black. The polyfill, which is the inside fill color. I'm gonna remove that color. I'm gonna add spokes by giving you a color. So these are the spokes, which kind of relate to regular polygons really. And then the circle, I'm gonna make it yellow. So the reason you're seeing a star is because of altered dysfunction. That's gonna be in another video, but that's a little taster. Um, I think I've gone through all the colors here. Um, spokes, arc line, I didn't do. You can remove the arc line, there you go. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about the polygon, apart from the monitor, which I'm gonna do in another video. Hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something.